All right, let's talk about Skype for just a moment. Now, those of you coming from Windows XP or Windows 7 are going to be familiar, most likely with the Skype application. It allows you to send messages and make regular voice and then also video phone calls. Those of you coming from Windows 8 or 8.1 will be familiar most likely with the Skype application, which you download from the Windows Store. So I just want to talk about that really briefly here. Microsoft is no longer supporting that version, that modern version of Skype in Windows 10. So when you download that application, you're going to get this Get Skype app. All that application really is, is a means for you to go ahead and download the desktop or the Win32 Skype application. So I already have that downloaded and installed on this machine, but this would be the best way for you to get to that website and download the Skype experience on a Windows 10 desktop. Now, if you want to receive phone calls from Skype, what you'll need to do every time you open up or launch your Windows machine, you'll need to go ahead and launch Skype and sign in. And what that will do is go ahead and run it in the background and put an icon down here in the de desktop taskbar to let you know that that's running. So this is what the Skype experience looks like once you are logged in. So you'll get notifications when different people are online so that you're notified of that. And then you can make calls to those people via video or just with voice. And then you can also send messages to them from here. Now you'll notice that Skype continues to run even if you hit the X, even if you close it. So that's happening so that you can receive notifications, messages, phone calls, and video calls uh, at all times. So if you really want to close Skype, you'll need to go ahead and go into the task manager and close the application from there. Or you can go up to the top left of the application and then hit sign out. That's it for Skype. Thanks for watching.